I am here with Spencer Showalter with Burning Kentucky. Spencer was the editor on this glorious film. It really is a gorgeous film. Yeah. Um, tell me about your experience in film before you got to this project. Just a little summary recap, mm -hmm. and then we'll get to this. Yeah, well, I've, uh, I've always loved movies, always known that I wanted to be a part of movies in any way I can, and the deeper and deeper I got into the business or the art of filmmaking, the more I kind of found my footing within it. Um, and quickly after uh, graduating from film school at uh, FSU Film School, I moved to Los Angeles and uh, picked up projects as an editor and really kind of discovered the art of editing and, and telling a story in that way uh, and really found my strength and passion in that way. Uh, and I've been really just chasing it ever since, you know, just tracking down amazing stories and wanting to, uh, to lend my hand at completing them and, and uh, putting them on the, the big screen, really. That's great. Now, editing this film, were there any particular challenges that presented themselves to you that you had to work through? Well, I'd say a, a, a challenge and a, a really great opportunity with this film was that working with Bethany, uh, we were, it was just a total open playing field. There wasn't any rules, really. It was just tell the best story out of all the footage that we have. Obviously, that's, uh, you know, be true to the original idea, you know, the script, what have you. But also, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with, with, you know, editing a sequence or, or trying to reposition an order or do something different that we may not have originally seen in the script or the footage and, you know, make it come to life. So when that kind of structure is a, it is a little bit more, you know, invisible, uh, it makes it a lot more fun for me and also just more uh, experimental. I know for a fact that with our footage and with our story that um, and, and editing this with Bethany, I know that we have the, the strongest film because of that reason, because all roads were open and we traveled down mostly all of those roads to get to the where the film is today. And uh, we made, I know, all the right decisions in, in telling the story in post. So it was, it was really freeing. Yeah. Well, it's a really powerful story and, and the editor is People don't realize, I think, people that aren't involved with film, how important the job of an editor is. An editor can make or break performance. Editors have made or broken some of my performances. <laughs> they can, I can leave it all out there and feel like I did the best work ever, and it comes back, and I'm like mortified, and I won't ever want anyone to see it. And there are other times where I'm not feeling that good about it, but they're like just moving things around, just so it's and it, with kids when you're editing with kids. And stuff. Um, it's just uh, the magic of an editor really is a truly special thing and <laughs> thank you for that and thank you for being part of Garden State Film Festival. Yeah, well thanks so much. I'm so excited to be here and to, to show uh, more people the film. It definitely deserves to be seen yeah. and we're, we're happy to do it. Well this is just the beginning for you guys I know. So yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank Very you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you later.